Now, this is in addition to the special session that starts tomorrow over where to redraw the lines that shape who you vote for. This redistricting battle, it comes after Governor DeSantis vetoed the congressional map that had been drawn up during the regular session, which for the most part didn't change all that much. Uh, now, here's a look at the governor's map versus the current map of districts. The governor's proposal would give Republicans but four additional favorable seats. Here in Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, District 13, it could actually be split, packing the more Democrat-friendly half into an already blue part of Hillsborough County across the bay. In turn, what's usually a very competitive 13th district could be expanded further north to favor Republicans instead, but would diminish black voters, critics argue. There's also big focus here on a district in North Florida that the governor wants to get rid of entirely. It's a largely non-white district that currently is held by a black Democrat there. All of this expected to face some legal challenges in court if and when it does pass. For some sharper insight, Michael Lee, a senior counsel with the Brennan Center for Justice and an expert on redistricting, voting rights, next uh, elections, explains why. These cases, uh, you know, will likely key up major uh, dis debates or disputes about uh, uh, how you use race in redistricting and when you, when it is appropriate to consider race and redistricting and what the Florida Fair Districts Amendments mean. And Governor DeSantis is pushing a very narrow view of when you can consider race. Um, and, um, you know, it's really out of line with how lawyers and courts have, have understood the law in this area. So Lee says that the Federal Voting Rights Act it prevents lawmakers from breaking up black communities. Then you've got, he mentioned the Florida Fair Districts Amendment. It sort of runs parallel to that. It prevents lawmakers from diminishing minority voting power when they redraw maps. But the governor is essentially arguably arguing here that it's unconstitutional to take race into account so heavily when you consider where to draw these district lines.